Welcome to the PZ Engineering channel, Passion to Excel. In this video, we are going to show how to simulate a fuel cell and energy storage system in Betlab Simulink software. Before we start with our simulation, I would like to request if you are not yet part of our family, please be part of our family by subscribing to our channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team in order to have access to a certain models and to have a special attention in your command or project. In this model, we are using a fuel cell of 6 kilowatt and 10 kilowatt hour energy storage system, which will be introduced each of these components. All these components, we can get it from library browser. If you want other type of microgrid, you can always check our previous video where we are having different combinations of energy, uh, energy supply. The project is made of 6 kilowatt fuel cell, 10 kilowatt hour energy storage system, two bidirectional inverters and a 10 kilowatt kilowatt load, which here is represented Hanfield Square Mall. Now let's introduce our fuel cell. Now let's go to our DC-DC boost converter. Those are the components. You have our CL induction, you have our capacitor and we have our chopper which is our converter if our transfer function we have our current controller duty cycles where you find our duty cycle in IGPT here we have our flow, flow rate selector and we have our flow rate regulator those are the components you can get everything in our library browser here are our flow rate selector. If you want more details in our previous video, we did a specific video for our fuel cell stake. Just to check the information or the size of it. Now it's connected to our DC AC inverter with a protective devices. Now let's check our protective devices. Here we have our Universal bridge inverter. We can get it from library bars that didn't change anything at all. And here we have our those are the components. You can change everything as it there. The system is controlled by this controller which controls our DC AC universal invert, uh, inverter now let's go to as you can see it's triggered by here Here we have our energy storage system. We use a normal battery, layer, lithium ion, and this is the capacity. Here we have our bidirectional DC DC back and boost converter. Those are the and then our components. Here we have our DC AC converter or inverters. 
the components, you have our three phase parallel and then you have our measurement. Which are connected here, which we are showing as a bus bar. Now let's go to our 10 kilowatt load. We are using as a mall, Hanfield mall. Those are the components of our three phase load. All this comp all this system is controlled by our controller. We have our voltage from the and then you have our reference voltage as we are using three phase four four hundred and forty. We have all this uh, like you can follow as it is there. If our ABC to transformation, you have our, our selector. We have our volt D and then we have our PI controller. Let me open. PI controller, these are our proportional and integral values. We reference as a zero. All these are connected to our PW generator. That's the value of our PW generator. And it goes to the gate, which is triggers there. This CDC inverter in the, our fuel cell. Here we have our measurements. We divide it by thousand to make it in kilowatt. If our current and voltage for the load for energy storage system and the fuel cell, there is combination of the two energy devices, and we have our scope. Yeah, just have our a simple, our simple, our simple controller. Now let's run our system to see the behavior of our system. The simulation was taking long. I had to reduce to 0 0.6 the simulation time. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team in order to have access to models, attention to your project and guidance in your project. Now let's just be patient while we are waiting the simulation. Now let's check our results. Let's check that it checks the power load, power load, and we have our battery energy storage system power, and we have the fuel cell power. The same applies to other scope. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video. If you want this video or this model, you can reach to us and donate to the channel to have access to this model.